Now, when I saw this initially, I tried it in Affinity Designer and then I, I thought I was a bit upset because it couldn't do it there. It couldn't bring in, it was bringing in the smart objects, but changing it into pixel layers. Until I looked at this panel here and I saw now it's only intended to be in Affinity Photo. Because I went to Affinity Photo, did the process and tried to edit it in Designer and see if it still retained the features like I would do if I'm using smart filters from photo to designer and it didn't do that so I was slightly disappointed until I saw this page that I actually understood that it's intended only to be in affinity photo and it makes sense so what is it any smart object included in PSD files can now be imported as embedded documents so an embedded document is it's literally a affinity document that you place inside an existing document so when you click on that embedded document it opens up a new window and then you can edit that independently but it keeps a live link to the existing page that it was embedded in for those of you who've watched that video of mine on how to do mock-ups i literally create an embedded object inside the one object and that keeps the link between but it couldn't naturally do the import of psd and convert it where we have that happening now. So this is very, very exciting. If you have a library like me of hundreds of mockups, then you will be over the moon with this. Okay, so let me just show you. So we're gonna go. Um, firstly, what I should suggest you do is you go to edit to preferences and go to general and just make sure that these boxes are checked here. Import PSD, text as text rather than bitmap import PSD smart object where possible that is the key there and then I make sure copy items as SVG is also checked but this is the main one and let's look at it and this is so so exciting so let me open this up this is a mock-up and there we have it okay if we look here we we'll see that's a group if we pop that down there's our embedded object so it works like any embedded object inside uh, the affinity range so if I come here now and I double click on here, it's going to open up this embedded object in a panel of its own. Double click. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just dislodge this window so we can see what has happened. And I'll move that. Oops. I just move that across. Okay. So that's that's where we've popped out. So this is the embedded object. Remember, this is what we consider the smart object that was in the PSD. It's now converted to an embedded object. But here's where Affinity just knocks things out of the water. Remember that we have the ability that when we work with an embedded object, once we edit it, it real time updates where it comes from, where it's embedded. So look at this. Isn't this cool? If I twist this, that's what's happening incredible i love this okay so this feature exists with affinity just the the live update but the fact now that you're able to kind of convert the smart object into an embedded image and then have this flexibility is just next level so if i go and i delete this um, i can come in and maybe place another object let me just find a logo or something um, let me just take Woody. We just do that and place Woody there. Okay. And there we have you. Isn't that incredible? And then I can come in here and maybe put some text. Uh, let's just call this Woody. Man, this is so exciting. So there I have now a mock up as would be normally you'd work with it in a Photoshop file. But the difference is, is that this is live. You, you literally have this feature happening. And this live feedback is not in version 1.8 only. It's been here and I've shown it in many of the videos that I've done. But just the fact that you have this is, is gonna be exciting. Let's try just another one. Um, so if you don't have Affinity Photo and you only have Designer, I can strongly recommend that you get photo even if it's just for this for the mock-ups because i think it's quite incredible so let's let's go check some more mock-ups here let's go to whatever this is tote bag 
Look there, it's even now getting ready to come into photo. Okay. It's busy thinking very much. Okay, so there we go. If we pop down here, let's see. Uh, overlays. Um, okay, I can't see. There we go. There we can see. What is nice is it tells you what type of document it is. Double click on there. There we go. Literally rotate that and see it happen in real time. Maybe I want to position it like that. Oh, I love it. So, folks, for those of you who have been waiting for the mock-up ability inside the Affinity range, it's arrived in version 1.8. It's a must. Get hold of this. Uh, if you don't have Affinity Photo 1.8 and you haven't acquired it, make a plan to acquire it it's worth everything and then you have hundreds of thousands of mock-ups to use going into the future so hopefully this excites you as much as it excites me so yep uh, you'll be hearing a bit more from me as i discover more of the things in 1.8 but have a fantastic day and god bless